was a long journey to uh, the first day of shooting on Amima site itself, and uh, we found our our way to the old post office that's in downtown Evansville. Amima site itself, behind the scenes. We literally had a blank canvas to work from, and uh, we turned this small room essentially into a working set. It's like watching a real movie unfold, isn't it? Okay, quiet please. Action. We were still shooting indoors this time around, but thankfully we had air conditioning, which was nice because I am fat and melted a lot on the first film. This one, not so much. It was, it was really nice uh, to be able to keep pretty much most of the moisture inside my body. So that was, a, that was a big step up from the last production that I'd worked on. So the crew that I assembled for Mind Beside Itself pretty much consisted of independent filmmakers from uh, Indiana and Kentucky. It was a really good mix. With Hallow's Eve, I had to do a lot of different jobs, directing, and shooting, working with the lighting. On a Mind Beside Itself, all I had to do was direct on, on him here, and just mm -hmm. literally right here. all the way back to the corner of the room. So or actually, the, the, the room maybe gets modified. larger. Yeah. Thankfully, that's what I got because I had an amazing crew. Without them, um, this project would not have gotten off the ground. It's It's been a long year trying to get this thing pulled together and finally all the right pieces fell into place. Neil Kellen is cinematographer and director of photography. Louis D. Cheney, he was the head lighting technician. He was also ultimately a first assistant director. Uh, for all the PAs, um, my beautiful wife, Katrina, who took on the role of production manager. Not only was she a huge supporting factor in this, but she also, she kept me organized in more ways than I can really name right now. So without her, I think, uh, I, don't, I don't think I would have, would have been as ready to go the first night of shooting as, uh, as I was. The makeup, hair and makeup, Laura Ambrose and Lori Rose has also helped out as well with makeup. I mean, they, they did a fantastic job. Overall, the first night of shooting went extremely well and we got some great stuff. Uh, Neil has an extremely good eye and I'm, I'm a shooter first more than anything. So this project was a big, a big step for me because I had to trust in individuals to do what I'm normally used to doing myself. Without all these different people, this would not have come to fruition and I cannot thank them enough for giving of themselves and, and for putting all the time and effort that they did into the project. It, uh, it was, it, it's, a, it's an amazing sight to see and if you ever get an opportunity to go on to an independent movie set where people are just passionate about doing this and they don't expect to have a paycheck at the end of the day, I, I think you're gonna see a lot of things that you don't at your everyday job. Uh, people pitching in, doing what they can to help. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. All right, cut.